is a big beach with dancing kittens. For some reason, we still have one of these kittens in our inventory. Maybe someone can take it from us? Well, it looks like they don't need it, and we'll keep it as a keepsake. Wow, this challenge is really quite tough. We've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends. And today we will run away from a giant dog head. I don't yet understand our main goal. What do we need to do here? Here, we will need to rescue seven kittens from the prison of these giant heads. They are keeping these kittens locked up, and we need to help them get back to their mom. We picked up some kind of purple key. Great. Now we will need to open the door with the purple lock and go rescue the first kitten. We're inside! Cool! Let's now go through this door and see what awaits us inside. Ooh, that's some kind of giant obby with creepy dog heads. Let's quickly pass it and rise to the very top. These platforms disappear after you step on them, Bluey. Be careful. We need you to go through this location as quickly as possible. Hooray! We're at the top. Let's save this little kitten and take him to his mother. Oh, yeah, let's go, kitten. You're going back to your mom. We need to get you back to her. Here, Mrs. Mom, this is your kitten. Aw, oh, she thanks us. This is very nice. Great, we found one kitten. There are still seven left. I hope we can find them all today. Well, let's not waste a minute and go searching. It seems to me that there are still a lot of different doors here. You need to be very careful. Green key! Cool. Now we will get into the green door and we'll be able to free another kitten from prison. Here we need to jump on these bones and get to the cage with the kitten. I will jump very carefully and try not to make unnecessary jumps in order not to fall down. I hope we can pass this obby the first time and return this kitten to its mother. The cage is just around the corner, Bluey. Be careful. Well done, you managed to do it. Now let's take this kitten and return him to his family. The second kitten is here. No need for thanks, Mrs. Kitten. We're just doing our job. Well, two kittens are in place. There are five more left to find. Go, Bluey. Let's free all the kittens from the clutches of these dogs. We need to explore this entire labyrinth in order to find the remaining kittens. Look carefully for different clues. All I can see so far is banana peels on the floor. Another kitten? Let's grab him and run to his mom! A crowd of angry dogs is already running after us. The main thing is to not let them kill us so that we don't lose this kitten. I need to run as fast as possible. We have gone quite deep into this labyrinth. And here comes the mother cat. Another kitten has been saved and we need to move on. The main thing is not to be caught by these dogs so that we don't have to look for all the kittens again. We have gone quite deep into this labyrinth. We urgently need to find some key. Oh, look, it's an orange castle, so the key must be nearby. Look, here he comes. Great. Let's go through the orange door now. What kind of place is it? Here you will need to guess the correct passages. Great. We've passed the first floor, and now let's choose the right path. Bluey, you're so good at guessing the right paths in this game. It's like you've already played it. Do you have superpowers or cheats? I think she's just a pro at getting through these levels. Well, let's try to deal with this quickly and without mistakes to save another kitten. It seems to me that we are already very close. Keep it up, Bluey. You're very cool at doing this. Let's not stop. There's some kind of door there. We need to go through it and we will get further. Okay, you'll have to fall down here too. I hope there won't be any trap there. And here's another kitten. We have already found four kittens and that's more than half. We are doing very well and quickly. We need to continue at the same pace. Maybe we can set a world record for saving kittens? This dog walks on its hind legs. Otherwise, there is nothing surprising here. We do exactly the same. Now let's find another passage and go after the next kitten. I hope we can make it through without dying here. There's some room with a toilet. We definitely need to get into it. I wonder where this toilet will teleport us to. Oh, I think we're inside it. Are we going to have to swim in toilet water? Seriously? Okay, I'll do anything for the kittens. That's very brave, Mom. But I would never reach inside a toilet to save someone in real life. It's very strange that our character has enough oxygen in his lungs to overcome all these undercurrents. Okay, here's another descent into the water. Let's get through this now so we can save the next kitten. We only have three left to find. I think we can definitely do it today. There are real underwater labyrinths here. 
I wonder if in a real sewer everything works the same way or a little differently. I hope the real sewer is a little different, because otherwise, once you get into it, you won't be able to get out of it. And here is the fifth kitten, Cool. We actually find them quite quickly. Now we will need to pick up this baby and go with him to his mother, after which we must definitely find the remaining two kittens. I wonder where they might be. Well, let's go look for them. I remember that we saw a yellow and purple door along the way. I think we should run in that direction to find them. We have the yellow key, and now let's go to the yellow door. There should definitely be another kitten there. I hope we don't have a very hard obby waiting for us there. Even if it is as difficult as possible, Bluey will definitely cope with it. She's a pro at this. There are no difficult obbies for her in Roblox. She can complete them all. Wow, this challenge is really quite tough. This dog was not even visible. It's good that Bluey managed to react and was able to jump over her. Now let's move on. These stones appear one by one. I need to be as concentrated as possible and react to every stone that appears. Oh great, another kitten. This is already the sixth, and now we're off to take it back to his mom. Only one kitten left to find. Great, we are all one step away from victory in this game. Let's explore this labyrinth as carefully as possible and try to find the last kitten. There must be a blue key around here somewhere. We need to get into the blue door. And here is the blue key. Great. Let's take it and run to the blue door. The main thing is that these dogs don't catch us. Cool. We went upstairs and here some kind of white labyrinth awaits us. Wait, is that an invisible wall? And there are traps in this maze. Need to try to be as careful as possible here. There are a lot of traps in this maze. You need to use your intuition as much as possible and try to find the right path. There are a lot of invisible doors here, and they constantly appear right in front of our faces. This is really very disturbing. Last kitten. Great. Come on, buddy. You are coming with us. Wait, why do we have two kittens in our inventory? Perhaps this is some kind of bug. Why is everything so buggy here? We can't get through this door. We are in place. Great. Let's now give the last kitten to mom. Oh, she's teleporting us somewhere. Look, this is a big beach with dancing kittens. We saved them all, and they are very grateful to us. For some reason, we still have one of these kittens in our inventory. Hey, guys, maybe someone can take it from us? Well, it looks like they don't need it, and we'll keep it as a keepsake. I really like this game, and it's cool that we managed to beat it the first time and without dying even once. Now let's move on to the next game. Everything is very beautiful here, but wait, where is the final boss? She has very little HP left. He smiles so funny and runs after us. Let's quickly run away from him. Yes, her belly really looks very funny. Hello everyone, friends, and today you and I will escape from prison Dora the Explorer. Everything is green here. This looks very interesting. It really looks like what we saw in the cartoon. This obby has been slightly modified. It resembles the same obby that was in Mario's prison. Well, this obby is much lighter. Yes, but I hope they don't make things easier here with the bridges. Because of this, we may complete this game too quickly. That would be very cool. I'd like to set a record today. I wonder how long it will take us to complete this map. I hope we can complete it in 550 seconds. Let's really try to get through this quickly. Maybe we can do it in less than 550 seconds. Now we will find ourselves in the room with the first boss. It must be Dora. Yes, it's her. Look, she's standing in front. Well, we need to get away from her as quickly as possible. She looks very funny with that belly. She shouldn't be so fat. Yes, her belly really looks very funny. She's trying to catch up with us. But it seems to me that she won't succeed because she's gained so much weight. And now she can't be fast. The main thing is that we managed to break away from him. Well, let's quickly get past this obby and go to the room with the toilets. I wonder if there will be a reward in one of the toilet stalls like there was in one of the previous maps. Well, now we will see it. Oh, there are mushrooms here. Wait, where are the toilet stalls? Wow, they changed this room and there are no toilets anymore. There is a tunnel left here. Well, let's dig it up and go to the obby dungeon. Look, this is a modified obby. It looks like this is the obby, where there are puddles of water on the bridge. Okay. This obby is much simpler than the original one. 
I completely agree. I can walk through it with my eyes closed. Wait, just look at this bridge. It's very difficult to notice these puddles here. It seems to me that it will be quite difficult for players who came here for the first time to notice them. Okay, look, we're already past this obby. And now we enter a location with a giant rolling boulder. Let's hurry up and get through it quickly. Just look how beautiful the location is here. All the buildings are so colorful. Yes, I also really like how they changed this location. Well, let's come as soon as possible and find ourselves in the room with the boss. I wonder who will be here as the barefoot knight. Hey, buddy, where is your knight's helmet? You don't look like a knight at all, okay? Let's just run around him and quickly move on to the tower with the destroyed stairs. This monkey looks very strange. She's trying to run through the wall after us. Well, let's deceive her. Oh, just look. He smiles so funny and runs after us. Let's quickly run away from him. Great. Now all we have to do is climb these stairs and we'll be on our way to the energy drink challenge. I just can't wait for it. When will they fix this staircase? We've been climbing it for the 20th time and it's still destroyed. I think enough time has passed for it to be repaired. It seems to me that if they fix this staircase, then this mode can be called not escape from prison, but an easy casual walk from prison. I completely agree with you, Dad. It won't be interesting. Okay, we had an energy drink. Well, let's complete this race as quickly as possible. I really want to set a record in this game. So far, we haven't made a single mistake. It seems to me that this obstacle has become the easiest for us in this entire regime. I just love running around these platforms while drinking an energy drink. This speed is very fast. I wish I could run this fast in real life. The main thing is not to drink energy drinks, because they will make you fart just like the character in the game. You may also have heart problems. Therefore, guys who watch our videos, I advise you not to drink energy drinks. It can harm your health. It's good that we have such smart, understanding children. We don't even need to tell them that drinking energy drinks is harmful. I think we did a great job as parents. And besides the fact that they are smart and understanding, they play games masterfully. It seems to me that Bluey and Bingo can become the best players in Escape from Barry Prison Obby. Okay, we ran across this bridge with a fan. And now we move on to the most boring test in this game, namely the task where you need to turn the valves. I just can't stand him. It seems to me that it would be very cool if this task was forever removed from all games where you need to escape from prison. I totally agree with you, Bluey. This task is the most boring task of all. Great, we have already turned two valves. Now let's quickly head to the third one so we can finish this quickly and move on. I think it's very cool that we didn't choose the hard mode instead of the easy one. Last time we completed these modes on hard difficulty levels very quickly. This made the game quite boring. They also removed some tasks that could really cause difficulties. So I don't understand why they decided to call this mode hard. So it's better to play easy. It takes a little longer but is more fun to play. Well, let's go through this ventilation, and then a race with fans awaits us. This task is really quite interesting because there we also develop quite a lot of speed, just like in the race with energy drinks. I just love this game. I love how its creators change it every time. Yes, I also really like the new design in Barry's Prison Escape. By the way, we have now completed the race with fans. Now we need to make a jump in this huge wind tunnel, and we will find ourselves in the dining room where we will meet the next boss. I'm really excited to see the next boss. Let's go down and see who it will be. Oh, it's Dora again. She runs after us with a frying pan. You need to quickly run to the bazooka and kill her with shots to the head. By the way, only 379 seconds passed. We can really set a record now. The main thing is not to miss and hit her right in the head in order to kill her as soon as possible. She has very little HP left. The main thing is to keep shooting and hit her right in the head. Great, I killed her. It was pretty easy. And now we move on. Well, let's quickly slide down this slide and there are only two tests ahead of us before the final boss. We will need to climb the wind tunnel past the lasers and build bridges. 
I still hope that the bridge mission wasn't removed from this game. I really liked that in the last game there were lasers of a different color and now they are red again. I would really like the creators of MAP to make lasers of different colors in all prison escape modes. This would make the game much more beautiful. Yes, I completely agree that this game should add some bright colors. They just redesign the design of this game but don't think about the obstacles. I think it wouldn't take much time if they wanted to change them a little. Great! We've reached the bridge challenge! Well, let's use our life hack and beat this game much faster than everyone else. Even less than 500 seconds have passed, and we are almost at the final boss. I think I should hurry up. You're right, Bluey. Let's get through this as quickly as possible to set our record. I hope at least the final boss doesn't freeze. Today, two of the three bosses we saw were already stuck in the textures. It is very strange. I think this game is a little poorly thought out. And now we will get to the location with the final boss and see him. Everything is very beautiful here, but wait, where is the final boss? Nobody's here. Maybe he hid somewhere. Unfortunately, no. And due to the fact that the final boss is not here, we are not allowed through the door to this car and we cannot get out of this prison. Is it that the developers of this map did not give us the opportunity to complete this game to the end. This is quite sad, but nevertheless, I really liked the design of this game. And now, let's move on to the next game. Oh, this is a giant robot stitch. Leela as the chef's boss? He has a very large head. No need to aim to hit it right. This is Pink Stitch. Oh, no. She caught us. He is still as slow and leisurely as the other bosses. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from Stitch's prison. Just look at this location. She looks really cool. Here, instead of a concrete floor, there is sand and palm trees all around. Just look at this location. She looks really cool. Here, instead of a concrete floor, there is sand and palm trees all around. It looks like this is true. Oh, just look. Challenges have been changed in this game. These new challenges are not a problem for me at all. I've completed tasks more difficult than these. It looks like Bluey is having no difficulties with the new challenging challenges. He's really pro in Obby Prison Break. I had no doubt that he would succeed. Challenge challenges? Dad, it looks like you got very little sleep. You definitely need some rest. You start to get confused in your words. Yes, looks like you're right. Oh, just look <gasps> at this boss. It's Stitch. It looks just like the real thing. I wonder if they added some kind of superpower to him. No, he is still as slow and leisurely as the other bosses in all prison escape modes. Well, so far, I don't think they made this game more difficult. On the contrary, it even became a little easier. Yes. It also seems to me that they tried to complicate it by coming up with new tests, but they remained as easy as they were. Well, maybe we can set a record this time. You've never lost yet. I will try my best. Oh, just look. This is a room with toilets. Let's quickly dig a tunnel and get into the Abbey Dungeon. I wonder what trials await us there. Yes, I think this mode is absolutely not difficult. Okay, let's see if they added something new and interesting to this Obby dungeon. Look, we need to go back to get there. Okay, this is really interesting. But they removed a really difficult bridge with half-broken planks. Why did they decide to give it up? It's actually quite strange. I think it would be much more interesting if they left this bridge but made all the boards dilapidated. It would be really difficult to pass. But this obby was actually a little more difficult. But we still passed it the first time. Wait, didn't they add any complications to this location? I think it would be possible to make a smaller interval between the rolling balls. That would be really hardcore. Let's climb up these stairs and see what kind of boss awaits us ahead. Oh, I can already see that this is Pink <sighs> Stitch. Wait, did Stitch have a pink girlfriend? Wait, how do we escape from her? Oh no! <laughs> She caught us. She looks quite beautiful, but it's a shame that we still had to die here once. But it's very strange that they built this level without the possibility of escaping from this wooden bridge. In general, this game is quite easy, except for this moment. But I really need a little variety in it. I really hope that they greatly diversify running with energy drinks. This is our favorite challenge in this game, and I would really like it to be more difficult. Now we will find out.
So far, this game doesn't look any more difficult than an easy prison escape mode. Nothing complicated has been added here. Great. We are almost there. Now we'll drink an energy drink and start the race. I really hope that it really has become more difficult. Great. We drank the energy drink and now let's run forward. Wait, the track remained the same. She has all the same tests. Have they seriously not added anything new here? Not this. I really wanted this test to be diversified in some way. It's certainly sad that they didn't add any variety to this challenge, but nevertheless, it brings me just as much pleasure as before. Okay, we're done with him. And now we will go to the test with stairs and ventilation. I hope they didn't make the ceiling higher and we won't have to jump higher. I highly doubt it. It seems to me that the height of the stairs remains the same. Well, let's put it under the ventilation and jump up. They didn't add any complications even here. We've already completed most of the game in 250 seconds. Are we seriously going to beat this game on a more difficult mode faster than on an easier one? Don't rush to conclusions. Maybe they added some complexity to the task with the valves? I think it would be cool if they changed their location to confuse us. This complication would really add a lot of variety to the game. I can already see the first valve, and it looks like their location remains the same. Look, it is very easy to complete. I think it would be better if we chose the normal mode. So far, we have completed this part without a single death. It seems to me that if we played on easy mode, we would have made a mistake at least once. This difficult mode is difficult only for small children. I think we can really set a record today. So far, we are going through this mode without errors. Let's take our time and just go forward. A race with fans awaits us ahead. We only need to overcome this ventilation to get to him. Perhaps they added some complications to running with fans? No, he is the same as before. I think the platforms you need to jump from are even a little longer, which definitely makes this game easier. 325 seconds and we are almost at the finale. This is really a very good indicator. We couldn't achieve this even playing on easy difficulty. And now we need to climb up this ladder and then we will find ourselves in a wind tunnel. The main thing is to press the jump button in time. Cool, you did it. And now we go to the next boss. Leela as the chef's boss? <gasps> of course I didn't expect to see her here, but nevertheless, I'm very glad that she's here. Unfortunately, they didn't change her name. She remained Harry's boss. It seems to me that in this mode, it's even easier to hit him because he has a very large head. No need to aim to hit it right. And he also doesn't have a frying pan that he can use to deflect projectiles straight at you. It was very easy. Well, there are only three tests left. More precisely, two. I can't call this downhill ride a really difficult challenge. Okay. I'm wondering how they'll make this game even more difficult. Wait, is it just me or are we stuck in the ceiling for a second? Okay, okay, never mind. The main thing is that we are just two steps away from the final boss. Let's see how they complicated the laser tests. Did they really add even more lasers? In the last water prison we went through, it was really difficult to pass the tests with lasers because the controls were slightly changed. But it seems to me that in this game, the test with lasers remains the same. Yes, it looks like they really didn't complicate this task at all. Okay, I hope they made the bridge task really harder. Perhaps they removed the life hack with quickly moving all the boards from the second floor to the first. Okay. The main thing is not to forget to use our life hack and reset all the boards at once. Let's quickly pass this test and meet the final boss. The main thing in this task is not to rush. Otherwise, you might accidentally drop the board to the very bottom. Don't worry, Mom. I've played this game so many times and I very rarely drop these boards. Great, I placed the last board and now we will meet the final boss. I want to see him soon. Oh, this is a giant robot stitch. Just look at this location. It's full of palm trees, and there are buildings all around. It doesn't look like the backyard of a prison. It looks more like some kind of beach or something. Unfortunately, this boss is also stuck in one place. He's just standing there. We shot off one of his hands, but one of his hands got stuck, and now it continuously shoots in a random direction. 
This looks pretty funny. Well, let's not get distracted by this and just keep shooting. Great! Well done, Bluey! Now let's run to this car as quickly as possible. We finished this game in 500 seconds. Let's quickly move on to the next one. Now let's go to the track and look for other players so we can start interfering with them. Let's wait until she starts coming here and start stopping her. Oh, it looks like she managed without us. The yellow wax crayon is chasing right after us. Oh look, our character did a somersault. Oh my god, an angry red wax pencil is running after us. <laughs> Hello everyone, friends, and today we will run away from the house of the evil crayon. These guys are hunting us! Oh look! For some reason this girl is lying here. Okay, okay, let's not pay attention to her. Let's just go through this task. There's not just ventilation here, but a real labyrinth. Wow, look, we fell out of the ventilation. Some kind of lava obby is waiting for us ahead. It's strange that cardboard boxes and various wooden things float in lava. They were supposed to burn. Okay, it doesn't matter. The main thing is that we passed this obby, and now we move on. Let's see what awaits us ahead. Okay, this is a room with various wax crayons. Now we need to climb into this ventilation and find a way out of it. It seems to me that there are a lot of ventilation in this game. This is already the second ventilation we have entered. I wonder if there will be some kind of ventilation here in which there will be a giant labyrinth. Wait, can you hear those footsteps? Oh my God, an angry red wax pencil is running after us, but we managed to escape from him and he couldn't catch us. Great, now let's walk across this bridge catcher with wax crayons. These wax crayons are so colorful and beautiful. I really like the way they look. Too bad they're dangerous. I'd like to take a closer look at them. Let's just cross this bridge and head to the next room. I'm very interested in what challenges await us next. Ventilation again? The creators of this game have a great love for ventilation. Well, this is looking more and more like a labyrinth. There are a lot of forks here. I hope we can find the right way out of here, because there are a lot of turns here. And here is the way out! It's cool that we managed not to get lost here even once. And now we're getting to the surface! Look! There is a very thin wooden bridge here. You need to be as careful as possible. Bluey crossed this bridge with ease. She is truly a pro at walking on thin bridges. Now we need to get past this vent and... Oh my God, just look, I see vending. Will they really give us something that will change our speed? Is this an energy wax stick? Oh look, our character did a somersault. Is this an energy pencil run? Wow, I see this for the first time. This looks very cool. It's a lot like the energy drink run in Bar Prison Escape, but here it works a little differently. Wait, have we really just crashed into these colored pencils? Okay, unfortunately, the game did not have time to remove the improvement from the energy pencil. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Now we will pass this test without boost. Oh my God, just look at these red puddles. It looks like some pencil caught up with one of the players and killed him. I hope it's not blood. Wait, are these steps again? Oh my God, a blue wax pencil is running after us. He wants to kill us. Oh, we escaped from him. It was very easy. This guy is pretty slow. Now we're heading back to the ventilation. A test with lasers awaits us. I hope Bluey can pass this test on the first try. It's not that complicated. Bluey coped with even more difficult tasks. Only a few lasers left. Great, we completed this task. Wow, laser plates await us in the next room. Well, I think this task will also not be so difficult, because here it's enough just to jump across the free platforms diagonally. This task also turned out to be very easy for us. I see another interesting challenge ahead of us. There's a lot of lava down there. You need to be as careful as possible. Wow, here we need to arrange the platforms ourselves. This is very cool. Now we need to build a bridge over which we can cross this abyss with lava. I have never seen such interesting tasks in any game. Wow, we built a bridge and crossed this abyss. Now we need to choose the right path and Bluey managed to choose the right path the first time. 
I think it would be logical to choose the red platform this time. Yes, we have guessed the correct path again, and we are approaching the next room. We are about to descend into the ventilation again. I hope there are no huge labyrinths in this ventilation. We found a way out of here very quickly. I see a long corridor ahead. I think this means that a new wax pencil is coming. Yes, look, the yellow wax crayon is chasing right after us. But he is very slow. He won't be able to catch up with us. Cool, we managed to escape from him. Bye-bye, yellow wax pencil. Now we escape into this portal. Where will we end up? Oh my god. Is this the end of the game? Did we really finish it that quickly? I think we went through it too quickly. Let's take advantage of the boosts and try to start stopping other players from completing this game. I think we need to take the train and increase our speed to 150. Great. I think this option will suit us. Now let's go to the track and look for other players so we can start interfering with them. I found a bug with which we can get inside. To do this, we need to push ourselves through the textures using our trail. I need to make a little more effort to get inside the location. Great! We managed to get inside this location. Now let's start stopping these players from completing this game. Let's barricade this exit with our train so that these players cannot get inside this room. They somehow managed to get inside. Well, I'm not ready to give up. I will interfere with them until the last moment until they fall down. I think this is the best place to start disturbing them. Let's choose the most convenient position where we will block their path. I think this is a great place. Let's wait until she starts coming here and start stopping her. Oh, it looks like she managed without us. Well, it was quite a fun and interesting game, but it's a shame that it turned out to be so short. Now let's move on to the next game. Maybe it will be longer than this? This is just one of them. We need to run there. Oh no, Big Head caught us. This head is very gigantic. We need to get around it somehow. There is a head that has arms and legs. She looks pretty weird. There is a huge labyrinth with different heads. Look, there are three heads in a row. We Hello everyone, friends, and today we will run away from the Big Head. Are we finally going to escape from prison? This is very cool. In fact, lately, I've been a little tired of these Barry prison escapes. Those big heads are so creepy. Oh, look! There's some kind of red staircase there. We probably need to climb up it. You're good at Bluey. Let's find a way out of here as soon as possible. The main thing is to avoid these giant heads. This is just one of them. We need to run there. Oh, no! Big head caught us, so now we'll be more careful. Well, now we know how these big heads move, and now let's try to go through this again. This labyrinth is so big! Oh no, another giant head. She's chasing us. Let's quickly find a way out of here. I think we need to run to those red steps again. And here they are. Now the main thing is to overcome all these big heads and... Yes, we're back on those steps. Now you need to find the right path to the save point. It seems to me that we have chosen the right path, and now let's try not to get caught by these huge heads. We need to be as careful as possible. Giant head, we need to run it away. Oh look, I see steps. I think there should definitely be a save point there. This head is very gigantic. We need to get around it somehow. And it seems to me that the arrow is pointing us to the right path. You need to go down these steps and run there. Save point, great. Now we don't have to be afraid of losing. There are three heads there. The main thing now is to walk this path very carefully and not get caught by them. I ran past them like a real pro! I really like this game because you have to be constantly on your guard. These heads can always catch me. Red steps and save point again. Well, that was pretty easy. Now we need to climb these long stairs and get to the very top. We almost fell down here. It was quite dangerous. Cool! We've passed the first stage. Now we move on to the second. Here we need to be as careful as possible because here we need to choose the right door. I think we guessed the right door on the first try and now let's find a way out of here. Labyrinths with doors are very difficult because here a head can suddenly appear around the corner and attack you. You need to go through this entire location as carefully as possible and not rush too much. Perhaps this head is hidden in the passage we need and no look, there is a save in this room. This head looks very funny. Well, we need to run around it and run further. Let's quickly find the next save because it's quite dangerous here. Okay, let's run into this passage and... Yes, we found another save. Wow, some super long arrows. You need to be as careful as possible. Wow, 
This is quite difficult. Look, there is another arrow there, but it seems to me that this is a scam. We need to go into the corridor in which there is no arrow. This room definitely needs to have a save. Wow, this is great. In general, I really like the fact that there is a save here, because if they weren't there, we would have to go through all these locations again. It would be quite long and almost impossible. Yes, I completely agree. If there weren't saves here, we wouldn't be able to get through this. Okay, let's not walk on this long stick, but try to walk on these small platforms because the head can come on this board and kill us. But here it's better to walk along this long board because your head is now occupied with something else. Ow, she fell down. Well, I see a star ahead. Let's take it. This means that we are now moving to the third. In the third stage, there is a huge labyrinth with different heads. Well, I think we will be able to pass it the first time. We are already quite skilled and know how to get past them. Look, there are three heads in a row. I think we can run around them from the side. Great, we did it. Now let's run to those red steps. Look, there is a head that has arms and legs. She looks pretty weird. You managed to get through this quite easily. Ow! This head wants to catch us. Don't let her do this. Cool. We ran past it. Now let's quickly find a save point somewhere. We just found it. And now in front of us is a huge room with three black panels and a huge number of different heads. But we escaped from them quite easily. In general, it seems to me that this stage is one of the easiest because we have never died yet. Save point again. Great, now let's come through the colorful labyrinth. I hope that we will be able to run past all the giant heads and they won't catch us. So far, you're doing great. I hope that you will be able to pass this entire test without a single death. Cool, I see another save. Look, here is a room with a huge number of black panels. I hope that we can get through it without getting caught by any heads. I think this is the most difficult test in the entire stage. In any case, Bluey completed this task quite easily. And now we move on to stage number four. Cool. Let's get to it quickly. It's the mechanical robot cane. Wait, is she stuck? But no, she keeps running after us. But it's Zubal. Just look how detailed it is. I'm a huge fan of the amazing digital circus. Wait, did you say fan? What? Oh my God, who said that? Who is there? Hello everyone, friends. And today we will escape from the amazing digital circus. Wow, everything here is so colorful and beautiful. It really is a lot like an amazing digital circus. Well, let's see what tests they have prepared for us. I already love how they changed the digital look here. Everything here is so colorful and very similar to what we saw in their cartoon. I love it. I wonder who will be the first boss we will see. Let's quickly go down and see who will be here as the first boss. Was it just me or did Pomni pass there for a second? Oh, exactly. Look, that's her. She has such an evil face. Let's hurry up and get away from her as quickly as possible. They even changed this location. Just look, there are a lot of different objects here. It doesn't feel like a prison at all. Wait, is she stuck? But no, she keeps running after us. Well, let's take a look at her. She looks a lot like the real Pomni from the cartoon. Well, let's not stop here for long and run on. Here, instead of the usual obby, there is a spiral staircase to the top. This is a really cool change. Finally, the map creators are starting to change the obstacles in this game, and it is really becoming more diverse. Great, we're already at the top. As far as I remember, now we have to go into this ventilation and find ourselves in a room with toilets. Let's see where we end up. This is a toilet room. I hope they haven't changed the location of the tunnel booth. No, she stayed in the same place. That's cool. Wow, this dungeon looks like the Gloink Queen's nest. It really looks very cool. I really like this location. Well, let's get past this obby. It's too bad they didn't add the Gloink Queen. It would be very cool if there was a second boss here. I would be interested in how we would have to defeat him. Well, this obby was the same as everywhere else. Let's just move on to the rolling boulder tunnel. This Jax looks really badass. Well, let's not focus on it and move on. Look, there's some pink liquid down there. This looks really very strange. 
I don't think it's worth running forward. There will be a boulder that will knock us down. Let's better not try to use any life hacks here, but just go through this tunnel the same way we always go through it. Yes, we have nowhere to rush. We are champions in completing all types of Barry prison escapes. Well, let's go upstairs and see which boss will be next. Oh my god, it's Zubal! Just look how detailed it is. She really looks a lot like a cartoon character. The developers really tried very hard here. Now I need to be careful. I need to wait for her to enter this room and run around her so that she doesn't grab me. This is a very difficult task. You managed to make it, Bluey. I never doubted you for a second. Well, let's now climb this multicolored, dilapidated staircase straight to the top. We now have an energy drink race ahead of us. Oh, yeah. Now our favorite part of this game begins. I just love the energy drink run. If only we could somehow donate to this game and get super speed for the entire duration of this map. Just imagine how quickly we could get through it. Here, the entire location is decorated in the style of an amazing digital circus. Even all the platforms here are multicolored. Well, this is very cool. I really like the design of this game. I'm a huge fan of the amazing digital circus. Wait, did you say fan? What? Oh my god, who said that? Who is there? Guys, don't be scared. It's me, Pomni. I was just traveling through Discord servers and accidentally came across yours. Why didn't you make it private, by the way? I cannot believe it! Is that really you? Oh my god, how did you even end up here? Hello! I really love your cartoon. Guys, I also really like your cartoon. I watched it a lot when I was little. It's very cool that I was able to get onto your Discord server and chat with you. And we were very glad to hear from you. Thank you for joining us. By the way, we are now playing the game Escape from the Amazing Digital Circus. Oh, are you serious? This is very cool. We also recently played this game with the guys on our YouTube channel. You've seen the video, haven't you? Yes, our whole family watches all your videos on your channel. We just love the way you play games. I hope someday you will invite us to play with you. It would be amazing. Someday, we will definitely make a joint video with you on our YouTube channel and invite all the characters from our amazing digital circus. But for now, I have to switch off. It was great chatting with you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Pomni. It was nice talking to you. I hope to see you again. It was very unexpected and cool. I still can't believe that she actually joined our channel and talked to us. I'm a huge fan of her. Well, yes, I was also very pleasantly surprised. Let's now move on through this ventilation. Now we are waiting for a race with fans. Now we will run very fast again. I really like these two types of tasks in this game just because there is great speed. I would like to find some mode in which we will be allowed to completely go through the entire map at high speed. I'm very curious who will be the final boss in this game. I think it will be Kane. He is the most important one in the digital circus, which means he must be the main boss. But first, now we will find out who will be the boss cook in this game. I think it must be the bubble because he was in charge of food in the amazing digital circus. And the boss cook turned out to be Jax. I cannot believe this. Did they really decide to choose this particular character? Well, this is very cool. Wait, is he what's shooting at us and we're slowing down? I think this will be the most difficult boss of all. Wait, why are we causing him a lot of damage? Looks like I was too hasty with my conclusions that this post will be difficult. Yes, he slows us down, but we do a lot of damage to him. It was very easy, but he managed to do some damage to me. Well, now I need to slide down this slide and we'll go straight to the laser mission. Well, let's hurry up a little. We've already completed almost the entire game in 400 seconds. I really hope that we can finish this game in 550 seconds today. That would be pretty cool. This staircase always seems so endless to me. Why don't you just add an elevator here that would be activated with a button? And here's the task with lasers. Oh, just look. They changed their color. This laser is yellow and the next laser is purple. I love when the laser colors change in Barry's prison break. Well, all we have to do is go through these lasers and bridge tasks. I can't wait to see the final boss. I'm very interested in who he will be. Well, now we will complete this task with bridges with the help of our life hack. By the way, have you noticed that only 470 seconds have passed and we have already gone quite far? I think we can definitely set a record in this game. Now hurry up, Bluey. You need to quickly build bridges here and move on. 
I really want to see the final boss of this game. Last bridge left. Grab his bluey and let's finish this location as soon as possible. We're almost there. Great. Now I will build this bridge and enter this location. Oh my god. Just look. It's the mechanical robot Kane. By the way, he doesn't get bugs like other bosses. And he runs straight towards us. Here you will need to try a little more and avoid his shots so that he does not cause damage to us. Keep shooting in the arm, Bluey. You almost shot her. Oh, no. It hit us a few times and did some damage there. Well, it's not scary. The main thing is that we managed to shoot off his hand and now we need to aim at the second. We almost defeated him. Only a few shots left. Don't stop, Bluey. It was very difficult, but I beat him. He was even able to hit me a few times. Well, I really like this mode and will definitely play it again. Now let's move on to the next game. Oh no, seriously. Will he really stand in one place all this time? Your hits cause him a lot of damage. He climbed onto the railing. This guy really wants to catch up with us. Hello, my friend. I hope that you won't catch up with Hello, everyone, dear friends. And today you and I will escape from Dog Day Prison. Louie, it seems to me that you forgot that we will also play together with you. Exactly. Sorry, I completely forgot. Today we, my family, and our subscribers will play Dog Day Prison Escape. That's better. Well, let's get started. I hope that today we will again set a new record for completing this map at speed. Yes, I hope so too. Well, we passed the first obby without any problems, and now we will meet the first boss of this game. We already know that it will be Dog Day. Well, let's press this button and quickly run up from him so that he doesn't catch up with us. I hear his footsteps right behind us. It seems to me that a little more and he will catch up with us. Let's take a look at it. He climbed onto the railing. This guy really wants to catch up with us. It's so good that we managed to escape from him. And now we need to cross this bridge. It doesn't look much like a bridge. It looks more like some kind of pipes, but nevertheless, Let's quickly run into this ventilation and find ourselves in a room with toilets. And here is the room with toilets. All the walls here are painted pink. I just love the color pink. I really love the decor of this room. And now we're in the Obby Dungeon. Oh, this is the same Obby type of dungeon that has bridges and a bridge with puddles. I just love this type of dungeon because it's so much more interesting. Did they really make black puddles on the black bridge? But you can't see them at all. Well, we were still able to pass by them and not step on them even once. Now we can jump over these platforms and we will find ourselves in a tunnel with a rolling boulder. Just look at this tunnel. It's all yellow and there are buildings on the walls. This is very unusual because usually this tunnel is dark and without lighting. This guy didn't have time to run and was crushed by a boulder. Well probably because he's a noob. And we are professionals in this game. And now we need to go upstairs and we will meet the boss of the Dog Day Night. Hello, my friend. I hope that you won't catch up with us and we'll just calmly walk past you and go to the tower with dilapidated steps. We ran past it and now we are heading up. Now we have a test ahead of us with energy drinks. And here comes vending. Cool. Let's press the button, drink an energy drink and run along these yellow and red platforms. By the way, we are doing it in record time today. It's only been 190 seconds, and we're already halfway through the energy drink race. I think this indicates that today we will be able to set a new record in this game. I can already see the end of the race. The main thing is to take your time and do everything right. You'll get bluey. You are doing great. You made it. It seems to me that you are becoming the best in this challenge among all Roblox players. And now we need to move this ladder and jump into the ventilation using it. I really hope that we can do it the first time because this is the most boring building in this game. We managed to do it. Wow, we've never done this the first time. This is great. You can see how Bluey is progressing in this game. Let's now cross this bridge and before that, we move on to the next task. Last valve! Great! We did it and now we're going up! And now we'll move on to the fan race! I really like how the creators of this map worked with the boring design. Everything here is very interestingly colored. I really like the wall textures. It really does look a lot like a prison. 
We definitely need to play a game where we will escape from Smiling Critter's prison. I love Smiley Critters, and I would really like to go through a prison in which all the bosses will be like different characters. For now, let's go through the fan race. Is it just me, or did they increase the distance between the platforms? This made jumping a little harder. It's very strange that they made this task more difficult, because we are now playing on easy difficulty. I think it's time for us to start playing Barry's Prison Break on hard difficulty. It seems to me that we have already reached that level of professionalism in this game when we can complete everything on hardcore. By the way, here's the boss doggy cook. I think we can defeat him pretty quickly. Now I need to take a bazooka and concentrate on hitting him right in the head. Because of the headshots, he takes a lot more damage, and this way I can complete this test much faster. You're right. Your hits cause him a lot of damage. The main thing is not to stop and shoot straight in the head. And don't forget that you need to stay at a safe distance from him. I think this was the fastest boss win in the entire history of Barry's prison escape. It seems to me that this Dog Day boss has very little health. And here is a task with lasers. Let's check if they have changed their color. No, unfortunately, these lasers remain red. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. The main thing is that we must now pass this test without dying even once. We don't have much time. Last laser left. Cool. I'm already at the very top. Well, only one task separates me from meeting the final boss. I must now be as concentrated as possible and use a life hack with which I can pass this test much faster. Be careful with bridges. They sometimes behave very unpredictably and can fly in a random direction. The main thing is to throw them straight down so that they do not fall into the abyss with spikes. Only one bridge left. Come on, Bluey. Concentrate on this. Great, we did it, and now let's defeat the final boss dog day. I really hope that he won't lag and will try to at least somehow catch up with us. Oh no, seriously. Will he really stand in one place all this time? Oh my god, why can't map creators optimize the final bosses in their games? Is this so difficult? I've already shot off one of his hands. All that remains is to continue shooting at the second one in order to defeat him. This final boss also runs out of HP pretty quickly. We defeated him. This boss fight was pretty easy, like this whole map in principle. By the way, we completed this game in 540 seconds. Let's now move on to the next game. And here comes the final boss Elsa robot. Wait, don't tell me she's stuck in one place and won't move. By the way, just look how quickly Anna runs out of HP. Is this Elsa? I just can't believe it. It's Kristoff! Wow. Hello, everyone, friends. And today we will escape from Elsa Frozen's prison. What, Elsa? Seriously, this is my favorite cartoon of all. I just love Elsa! Guys, be sure to write in the comments your favorite character from the cartoon Frozen. My favorite character is Olaf. I also really love this cartoon. He is so kind and cool. By the way, have you noticed that the creators of this map really tried very hard and remade everything to fit the style of this cartoon. Yes! They even made icicles instead of spikes. Well, now we'll find out who will be the first boss. Is this Elsa? I just can't believe it. She really looks just like in the cartoon and she is now chasing us. Well, it's good that she's just as slow as all the bosses in Barry's prison break and will be able to escape from her pretty quickly. Great! We're already on the bridge. Well, now we will find ourselves in a room with toilets after we pass this obby. This obby looks familiar to me. We have already seen something similar in other maps. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, because they did a really great job on the design here. Everything here is the color of snow and ice. This is very similar to the style of the cartoon Frozen. Even now, instead of digging the ground, we dig up snow. It's really very similar to what we saw in the cartoon. Well, now let's go through this ice obby. It's very strange that there are bubbles here. It would be great if they replaced these bubbles with snowflakes. Judging by your voice, Bingo, you are very glad that we are playing this game today. Maybe we should have tried playing it earlier. 
Yes, I'm also surprised that we haven't played this game before. By the way, did you notice that they changed the huge rolling boulder? Now it's blue with red cracks. Now he will pass by us and we will look at him. Yes, he really looks unusual. I really like the way they remade it. I really like the way they redid this hallway. Now there is no boring black light here, but it is all covered in snow and it is very bright here. This is very cool. Who will become the boss knight in this game? It's Kristoff. Wow, I'm very surprised that they chose him as the boss knight. Well, now let's go to the tower with the dilapidated stairs. We need to go through it as quickly as possible and get to the very top to start the race with energy drinks. Here comes the energy drink vending machine. Just look how they changed this location. She's all covered in snow and all in blue. They also added some snow-covered trees here. It looks really very similar to the cartoon Frozen. Yes, I also really like the way they worked on the design of this level. I have never seen a snow theme anywhere in any of the modes in Barry Prison Break. Great, we are done with running with energy drinks. And now we need to climb the stairs and now there will be our least favorite task in this game, namely installing the stairs. I really hope that we will be able to climb this ladder on the first try because this task is really very long. Great, we climbed to the top. Well, now we need to cross this bridge so that we don't get blown away by the fan. By the way, look at this. They replaced all the spikes with icicles. These icicles glow blue so cool. I like it very much. Here in this level, they changed the whole design very cool. They even repainted many of the platforms blue. I really feel like we're in Elsa's world. Now you need to quickly deal with these valves and go upstairs in order to move on to the task with the race with the fans. I wonder how they changed this task. They even changed the design of the ventilation. This looks very cool. Wow, just look, there was a down snow tree. It's good that we didn't crash into it. Otherwise, we would not have been able to go further. They also repainted the platforms blue. Well, this looks really very cool. There is also a snow tree here. Well, this is very cool. Now we will find ourselves in a wind tunnel. The main thing is to press the jump button in time. Great, I managed to do it. Now I need to go through this vent and we will see who will be the next chef boss. It's Anna. Wow. They made her the boss cook. Well, I think this is the best character to play this boss. It's a shame we won't see Olaf here. Dad loves this character very much, and he would really like to see him in this game. Maybe he will be the final boss here. I really hope so too. By the way, just look how quickly Anna runs out of HP. We will deal with it very quickly. Yeah, it was pretty easy. Now, let's go down this slide. By the way, it is also decorated in the form of an ice slide. Now we need to pass two tests, and we will see who will be the final boss in this game. It would be really cool if we could get through this as soon as possible. We're moving fast enough. And here is the task with lasers. Too bad they didn't change the color of these lasers to blue, but I think there is nothing wrong with that. Let's just quickly climb to the very top of this wind tunnel and move on to the final task before the boss fight. Last lasers left. Well, we passed this task very easily. Now let's complete the task with bridges as quickly as possible with the help of our life hack. I think we can complete this task pretty quickly. The main thing is not to accidentally throw one of the bridges down. Otherwise, you will have to start completing this task from the very beginning and we will lose a lot of time on this. Great, we managed to do it all quite easily. All that remains is to put up the last bridge and we will cross this abyss and find ourselves in the location with the final boss. I really can't wait to see who the final boss will be in this mode. And here comes the final boss Elsa robot. Wait, don't tell me she's stuck in one place and won't move. Oh my god, it looks like it is. Well, okay, let's defeat this boss very quickly. It will be very easy because she doesn't even shoot. Oops, looks like I was wrong. Well, she only shot with one hand, and there is no way she can hit us because we are maintaining a safe distance. It was very easy. I really like this game because the design of the locations is very well done and everything is very cool. Now let's move on to the next game. I think Romeo's very happy that we defeated the final boss. I hope that this time he doesn't bug like he did last time. Seriously? 
Again? Oh no, he killed us. Hi, Greg. Hey, Greg. Why did you give up so quickly? <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends. Today we will go through Pajama Mask's prison again. You liked our last video on this game so much that we decided to record a new video, but this time we are going to break our record for completing this map. Last time we completed this game in 603 seconds. Let's see how fast we can beat this game now. I really hope that this time we will get through it much faster. Bluey has been practicing the jailbreak maps quite a lot, so I think we'll definitely get through the game a lot faster this time. I also hope that I will be able to do this. We're playing on hard difficulty again, so it won't be that easy to complete this map. I think it won't be difficult for you at all. Just try to concentrate as much as possible on completing this game without dying even once. Hi, Greg. I hope this time you won't just run around this location in circles, but actually try to catch us. Look, he's finally running after us. I think we need to speed up a little so that he doesn't catch up with us. Well, that was pretty easy. Hey, Greg, why did you give up so quickly? He could have at least followed us up to the second floor. This is the laziest cop I've ever seen. It seems to me that this is only to our advantage. He didn't take up any extra time from us, and we can move on without him getting to us. Now we will find ourselves in a room with toilets. I don't think it's worth wasting time exploring toilet stalls. We have known for a long time that the tunnel is in the second booth. Have you noticed that there are some very strange particles flying around here? They look like toilets. It's quite strange. Maybe this is actually a sewer and not a dungeon? Do you even think about what you're talking about? Where does lava come from in the sewer? This is extremely illogical. Stop quarreling. We need to concentrate on setting a record in this game. We must complete it in less than 600 seconds. I agree with Bingo. We need to concentrate as much as possible on this game and go ahead to win and set a new record. You need to be as careful as possible in this corridor with a rolling boulder. Don't worry about it. Bluey is a real pro at this game. She has never died in this test yet. Yes, Mom is right. It seems to me that if I found myself in the same corridor in real life, I would definitely be able to pass it even with my eyes closed. Great, we passed this test. Now we need to go upstairs and there we will meet another boss. Just look! It's Night Ninja! He even appeared by jumping from the ceiling! This is really cool! Oh no, he killed us! Now we definitely won't be able to break the record. You will have to try very hard to make up for lost time. This guy stayed there and now we can move on. Now a tower with dilapidated steps awaits us. Well, let's get through it as soon as possible and move on to the energy drink race. By the way, this climb is also complicated by lasers that are located right on these steps. Well, we passed it and now we need to climb to the very top. I'm looking forward to this race. This is my favorite part of this game. Let's get started. I hope I pass it the first time. I have never died on this test because I really like it and I pass it like a professional. The distance between platforms has been increased here, which makes this level really challenging. But that doesn't make it any less interesting because we're running very, very fast here. By the way, we are showing very good results. Only 244 seconds have passed and we are already approaching the ladder test. I think we will still be able to set a record this time. I just hate this ladder challenge. Also, this fat guy is disturbing us here. I really hope that he will remain behind us and we will be able to complete this game much faster than him. Well, now a task awaits us in which we will need to turn the valves. I really hope that we will be able to complete it fairly quickly because I don't want to linger on this difficult and tedious test at all. I really hope that the creators of all the new Barry Prison Escape maps will someday remove this challenge from the game, because this is truly the most tedious task in the game. I really hope that it will never be added to new modes again. Yes, this task with the valves really bores me a lot, but here it is a little more complicated because here the distance between the platforms is also increased, and some platforms have been completely replaced, but nevertheless, this does not prevent me from passing this entire test the first time. We finally passed it. Great. Well, now we will go into this ventilation, and then a race with fans awaits us. Here it is also quite heavy, because there is also a very large increase in the distance between the platforms. However, this race with fans is very simple. But now we will climb these stairs and find ourselves right in the wind tunnel. Don't forget to press space bluey. 
I didn't doubt you for a second. And now Boss Chef is waiting for us, played here by Romeo. I hope that this time he doesn't bug like he did last time. Seriously? Again? Oh my god! I'm absolutely sure that the director of this prison needs to remove these tables from this cafeteria. This chef simply can't cope with moving around this cafeteria normally. Well, he returned to normal, and we defeated him. Great! This was, again, the easiest boss we have ever completed because he constantly gets stuck in some textures. I think the creators of this map definitely need to work on optimizing this character. Colorful lasers again. I like this map just because of this. They really tried to paint them in different colors. It gives this game more color. But unfortunately, they removed the bridges in this test, and now we just need to jump on platforms through lasers. Well, this makes our task much easier. And now we will meet the final boss, Olet. He moves quite strangely. Have you noticed that the animation of his movement is very jerky? Because of this, it seems as if he is moving towards us very quickly. But in fact, he can barely keep up with us. Try to hit him right in the head. I think this is his sore spot. There's no need to shoot off the boss's hands here. Wait, did we really kill him? I think Romeo's very happy that we defeated the final boss. Well, let's move on to the next game now.